Um, obviously, must be a huge, huge disappointment there in the dressing room this evening. Yeah, there is. You know, I think the big emotional performance like that. Um, I thought there were periods in that game when we could have really taken the game by the scruff of the neck, and you know, for whatever reason, certain parts of our game didn't function as well as we hoped. Um, so that's disappointing. But you know, in the bigger scheme of things, we're really proud of the lads. The whole week we, we trained really well and we went out and gave it a really good shot. I mean, Paul obviously came with pretty much their A team there, didn't they? That was, that was a full on side you were up against. Yeah, you know, which is which is what we wanted really. You know, we, we want to test yourself really. And um, you know, as I said said earlier, I think um, you know there the, the spots in that second half when we really could have had it. We really could have had it. And um, all credit to them. You know, their offloading game really functioned today. Um, they got some some big lumps, and their, their set piece was really efficient. So you know, they just uh, they beat us in that area today. You're not out of the competition as it stands, but obviously qualification is going to be quite difficult. It, it makes it tougher, yeah. Um, it just makes next week's game all that more bigger. Um, we'll get this out, out of our system, um, have a look at it, analyse where we went wrong, and then um, look towards Ospreys. The positives you can take from it, though, because scoring that number of tries here is encouraging. Yeah, a huge amount of positives. You know, um, a, a lot of a lot, a lot of the guys, including myself, haven't played a huge amount this season. Um, so it's great to get out there and play. Um, some huge efforts went in, some big defensive shifts. Um, I thought when we did have the ball, we looked really good at threatening the attack. So that's really exciting. Some, we scored some really good tries, as you've mentioned. So a you know, huge amount of positives. But you know, when you put that bigger emotional performance in, um, it's always going to be uh, tough to take when you don't get what you want, really. Uh, could you put it down to sort of any particular errors that, because um, obviously getting yourselves back into the game and then conceding again, obviously made, made life very difficult? Yeah, it did. And um, you can't really, um, not keep hold of the ball, you can't not um, win enough of your lineup like that. Um, so there was, there was a few big moments there that when we needed our um, systems function, they, they were just a little bit off, that's all. But full credit to them, you know, they obviously done their homework and they got up in the right areas and they, they made a bit of a mess for us. Kai, in terms of it all though, when you look back at it, a lot of the youngsters getting first real exposure to top level European rugby, again, that's a positive, you know, lots of. Tony Hill, Sam Skinner, Hooley, um, you've been there and done it for many yeah. years, but for them this is invaluable. Yeah, and I, you know, full credit to them, I thought, you know, we spoke before the game about putting a real big account of ourselves in there and being really proud of the performance we put in, and I think every single one of the players, all those young guys, um, did outstandingly well, really proud of them, um, really impressed with the shift they put in, and I couldn't have asked any more of them. And uh, the fighting spirit we know exists within this squad, and you saw it right to the very death really wasn't it you know you kept mm. going and there was a never say die attitude from you all yeah you know and that's um, we, we set the bar there that's that's a given really you know we call it our no talent battle we will keep fighting for every every sort of scrap we can get um, and that's a given you know um, so we know that's always going to be there and uh, we keep working on that but that's 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 the bar you talk about Ospreys next week uh, still planning to play for and you probably owe them one from the game up at the Liberty as well yeah I think we you know well, after we analysed that game, we, we probably didn't do ourselves justice there. So um, we'll get this game out of our system, and um, we'll, you know, get excited about Spurs coming to our place. Um, get really excited about playing back at Sandy Park. Okay.